What's up, everybody? My name is Dave FK Gaming, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Um, last time I think we explored the Kellogg Mind. Um, after that, I came back to Sanctuary, and I actually worked on the settlement a little bit. Um, I got some uh, defenses going. I'm building a wall around the entire neighborhood. That way we are hopefully not robbed, because I don't want to be robbed. I am working on my power supply. Um, working on getting the power all around to the neighborhood. And I pretty much did all that. Um, I gave Dogmeat the... Um... Well, actually, let's go find Dogmeat. Dogmeat, where art thou? So yeah, the settlement's coming along slowly but surely. What? Not saying I don't like it. Just thought I'd clear the air. Ah, okay. Uh, dog meat. There you are. We didn't all the way back over here. I gave dog meat the um, the goggles, and he looks so cool with them. You don't, you boy? Yeah, you do. Alright, so, Dogmeat got the goggles, and I completely forgot that I gave Dogmeat my minigun, so I got my minigun back, gave it to Piper, so she can hold on to it, because I don't have room. Came back, uh, I put all my junk away, and that's about it. So, we are not gonna do the story quest for now, let's actually do some side quests. Um... Okay, we'll do this. Oh, wait, that was back in Diamond City. That dude was begging us for a cola. So, let us go back and uh, give him a Nuka Cola. Hmm. Supermans consider themselves a Commonwealth superior race. They can consider that all they want to. But in the end, there's only one who is superior. Yo, dude, you want a cola? I'll give you a cola. Need a drink. Nuka Cola. I just need a cola. Uh, <laughs> Nuka Cola? You want a soda? Is that it? Oh, come on. We can spare something, can't we? Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. All right. Here you go. Real sweet of you. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Y'all. Yeah. They look like they could use a moment. Hey there, mister. Hi. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... You mean it? Uh, sure. That's right. Send Sheffield to... Boom. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Great. Now, level up. <sighs> There's so much to choose from. Uh, I still gotta be level 18 to bring up my resistance. Uh Punching attacks do more punching. Does that include my fist? If that includes my fist, then uh Yep. Alright, so we gave Sheffield the cola. Next Get the latest issue of Public Occurrences. Okay. Oh wait, that's actually something else I gotta check out, cause... Did Piper ever write that thing about us? Cause I remember we did the interview with her, did she actually put it into a... What the... Mechanical Menace. Listen to the... Dis 
Okay, we will go see what that is after we're done with this. Uh, hey, you Nat. Can't believe what's in the next issue? Just you wait. Nat. Hey, Mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Thank you. Okay, so she did do it. Uh, let's actually view this. View from the vault. Uh, view from the vault. Okay, let's do this. View from the vault, part one. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. Sure, what we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago, but it's easy to forget that, even after all the progress we have made, we are still living in the shadow of the world that was. A world before the threat of radiation, before the super mutant and the feral ghoul and the synth. So as fortune often has it, I cross paths with David, Vault Dweller. A person who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City the great green jewel we have always claimed it to be? Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know who David is, where he comes from. To my surprise, he did not have much to say about his life in the vault at all because he spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass every day for over two centuries. That's right, David isn't just a vault dweller, he's an original vault dweller. He spent his entire life on the inside cryogenically suspended. Continue to part two. Ah, part two. So, what does David have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here? Rebuilding the world gives me hope. Hope. When was the last time someone in our city talked about hope who wasn't some politician fishing for points in the next election, making empty promises at the wall? But our outsider hasn't let the um, cynicism of our strange world get the better of him. This is all the more remarkable because of the reason he came to the Commonwealth. You see, David has a son, Sean. And even though they were in the, rel in the relative safety of a vault, Someone broke in and took Sean from his parent, and that parent is now risking everything, wandering through this strange and unfriendly world of ours in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City, the guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why indeed? Pot free. It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but knowing so little about them. They are not the only ones responsible for kidnappings, but the fact that they sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnappings as if they are a lost cause. But the people left behind, those loved ones, friends and neighbors who may never see the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that loss with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget. I asked David to make a statement to Diamond City, to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one, and how he feels. Maybe in some ways, how we all should feel. Maybe we've got to... Maybe we've forgotten what the right human response to these tragedies are. No matter how much you want to give up, don't, he said. You have to have hope that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Piper, very nice. Alright, so, uh. We'll do this later. We'll do that later. I want to do some more things. You know, fucking up. We'll do it now. Uh, listen to the distress signal. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. This is the... 
Okay, I think we have just started the Automatron DLC. Uh, let's actually go check that out. We'll, we'll fast from College Square. Oh god, we're inside. So I think this is the start of the Automatron DLC. Um, after this, there's supposed to be two more DLCs. I think one is in April and the other you. is in... Uh, Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Uh... I don't know what month. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. By the way, if I say this is up if if this is uploaded late, like say you're watching this in April and the DLC is already out and I'm saying I can't wait for the DLC, you know, the uploads come late, you know, I ha I have a lot of stuff to upload. You know, I record so many videos at a time and just you know, you have so much to upload. So, like, if I say I can't wait for the DLC, and it's already out, then, you know, I get I get to these late. I, like I said, I, re I record so much. The Yaguai, also known as the Bear. I'm gonna use my Mr. Fister. I gotta rename that. The Penetrator. The Almighty Fist. Hmm. So where is this? Report to dance. Yeah, I'll report to dance later. He can wait. Where is this? I should be close. Oh shit! I think I just found it. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, maybe the fist ain't the way to go here. Oh, ooh. Mechanist! Okay then. Robot repair kit. Robot companions. Mini new. Robot companion. What is this? My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? 
Are you okay? Thanks to your timing, my Fuck. diagnostics show only.